Hi, I'm Ryan from Portainer. In this video, I'm going to show you how Portainer can help you deploy and use Argo CD. What I've got here is a Portainer instance managing a local Kubernetes cluster as well as one remote Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to use Portainer to deploy Argo CD to the local cluster, and then I'm going to use Argo CD to deploy a demo application to both the local and remote Kubernetes clusters. Let's get started. I'm going to start out by selecting the local Kubernetes cluster to manage. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a namespace for Argo CD to live in. So click on namespaces and then click on add namespace with form and then give it a name here. I'm going to give it Argo CD. Then I'm going to turn off resource assignment just because it's outside of the scope of this tutorial. I'm going to click on create namespace. And now you'll see the Argo CD namespace is in our list, so we are ready to install Argo CD. Go ahead and click on Helm, and if you've never been in here before, you probably won't have the, any of the applications to choose from in this charts area. If that's the case, don't worry. Just add the Bitnami repository that you see in the placeholder here. Click on Add Repository. The page will refresh, and you'll have your list. So find and click on the Argo CD Helm chart. And for the configuration, we want Argo CD to run in the Argo CD namespace that we created previously. I'm going to name the application Argo CD, and then I'm gonna click on Show Custom Values. In this file, let's scroll all the way down. And we're looking for the section here, Argo CD server service parameters. We want to change the service type from cluster IP to node port. And then I'm going to specify which node ports to use just because I'm using a kind cluster. So I had to specify those ports when I created the cluster. So I'm going to use port 32,080 for HTTP and port 32,443 for HTTPS. Those are the only changes that need to happen in that file. So I can go ahead and click install and we'll wait for our installation to start. You'll see the Helm chart successfully installed and you'll see the different components of Argo CD right here. We need to wait until these all green up and then we'll be able to proceed. Now that the installation's finished, I'm going to try to hit Argo CD by browsing to the name or IP address of my cluster on port 32443, which is one of the node ports that we specified during the install process. And there we have it, a nice, shiny, new Argo CD deployment with only one huge problem. I do not know what the admin username and password is. It was generated during the install, and Portainer can help us find it. So if we head back over to Portainer and we look in Config Maps and Secrets, there was a secret generated during the Helm install of Argo CD named Argo CD Secret. Very creative. There's a key in here called Clear Password, and the value of that key is the default admin password. So I'm just going to copy it, and we'll use that as the password for the admin account. And now we're logged into Argo CD and we can start configuring it. The first thing I'll do in Argo CD is to add the Git repository that my demo application is stored in. Click on Manage Your Repositories, Projects and Settings, and then click on Repositories. And then we're going to connect our repo using HTTPS. The type will be Git. I'll just choose the default project for Argo CD. The repository URL will be the URL to our Git repo. Our username here. And finally, our password. And if you have personal access tokens set up, that is what's required here and not your account password. So go ahead and click on Connect. And you'll see that has successfully connected to the Git repository. Now we can deploy our first application. Click on Manage Your Applications. 
and then click on create application in the application name we'll just give it demo app the project is again just the default Argo CD project we we'll want automatic sync we'll turn on prune resources self heal and also auto create namespace the source will be the git repository that we just added we're just going to use the head um, if you have a different branch that you'd want to deploy from you can configure that here and I have the Kubernetes files in a directory called deploy in that project so that's what I fill in to the path input the destination is where we want the application to be deployed to so we want this to be deployed to our local Kubernetes cluster in a namespace called demo app and that's it we can go ahead and click create and wait for it to install now that that's done we'll see that our demo app is healthy and synced and it's running in this cluster and we have four pods of nginx running as per our spec file now that Argo CD has the application up and running I want to show you what happens when you make changes to the application if I go to my git repository where this application is held you'll see that I've told it to have four replicas of my nginx pods running and you'll see that I have all four of them running here if I make a change to this let's just go ahead and scale up to eight replicas I'm gonna commit this and then Argo CD will be over here constantly looking for updates and when it sees that that branch has been updated it'll go ahead and increase the number from four to eight pods that it's running as you'll see it's doing now now later maybe we don't need all eight and we can scale all the way back to say four again or maybe even fewer than that let's just come back into our replicas we'll just scale back all the way to two we'll commit to this branch and then we will wait for Argo CD to pick that change up and scale us all the way back to two as you'll see it picked up and it's selected six pods to get rid of which will take us back down to two and that is the constant delivery piece of Argo CD but that's not all if you remember our portainer instance was managing two different Kubernetes clusters so why not have Argo deploy that demo app to the second cluster there are a few steps involved in this first we need to let Argo CD know about the second cluster by adding a Kubernetes secret for it we'll use portainer to do that and then we'll use Argo CD to deploy another instance of our app but this time to the newly added cluster so what I have here is a template manifest file for that secret we need to add the server URL and the bearer token to it both of those things can be obtained from within portainer if we just select the, that cluster to manage and then click on the cube config button to open the cube config file for that cluster we have the server URL right here so we'll add that and then we have our bearer token in the cube config file as well so we'll grab that and we'll paste it in and then we can use this manifest file in portainer to add our secret just click on config maps and secrets and actually we are currently managing the remote cluster we want to change that and go back to managing the cluster that Argo CD is running on so that way when we click on config maps and secrets and then create from manifest we have the option of using the Argo CD namespace that we've created and that is exactly where we want the secret to be placed so we're just gonna call this uh, second cluster cluster secret and then we'll just use the web editor and I'm just gonna paste in our manifest file that we just finished creating we'll go ahead and deploy you'll see that it deployed successfully and now if we come back over to Argo CD and we click on manage your repositories we can click on the clusters here and you'll see that we now have this second cluster and now we can deploy apps to it 
So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back into Manage Your Applications. Let's click on New App. We're just going to call this another demo. We're going to stick with the default Argo project. And like the last deployment, we're going to have automatic sync policy. We're going to enable prune resources, self-heal, as well as auto-create namespace. The source is going to be the same repository that we used last time. We're going to continue to just look at head instead of any alternative branches. Our path is still going to be deploy. And again, that's because I have my Kubernetes YAML files in a subdirectory named deploy in my project. The destination is now going to be our secondary cluster. Before we added that secret, we didn't have this as an option. So now we can deploy to our second cluster. The namespace is going to be demo app, just like on the first cluster. And let's go ahead and create it. And you'll see it's pulling it down and syncing and bringing it online. And we're now running two pods in the demo app, the same as we were in the previous app. So that's it. We now have one application deployed via a Git repository to two different Kubernetes clusters, all with the help of Portainer.